Autumnal by Thomas Ligotti Read by Jeff Clark When all the landscape is dying, descending fragrantly to earth, we alone rise up. After light and warmth have passed from the world, when everyone stands melancholy at the graveside of nature, we alone return to keep them company. This is our season to be reborn. The supple swish of summer trees has become a dry rattle in a cooling wind, and our ears begin to tingle as we lie deep in our dark beds. Crinkled leaves scratch against our doors, calling us from our lonely houses. We drift groggily out of the shadows, comfortably rooted in oblivion. We do not particularly enjoy being pulled up into the burning air for the amusement of some unknown mischief-maker, some cosmic prankster, master of the trick. But perhaps we find ourselves nearby an old farm where once abundant fields, neatly rowed, now lie fallow and abandoned by all but a few scraggly stalks. We witness the scene and, with what remains of our mouths, we smile. Beneath a sharp scythe of moon, we now become eager to fulfill ourselves. We do not hate the living, no more than night hates day. Like them, we have been assigned a task which we must execute as best we can. However put out we may feel, we are hopelessly superstitious about shirking certain obligations, for there are some which even the power of a posthumous lethargy cannot refuse. Thus, on nights when an icy rain is dripping from the eaves, when all barriers of light and luxuriance are down, our images appear to haunt and harrow. Crumpled silhouettes in doorways, crouching heaps in corners, emaciated shapes in cellars and attics, suddenly lit by a flash of lightning. Or perhaps we are illumined by the passing flame of a candle, or the soft blue flush of moonlight. And the screaming begins. But sometimes there is no shock, no surprise. The unfortunate witnesses of our insane truth were already driven half-witless with dread anticipation. Our horror is an expected one, given the unnatural propensities of the season. When the world goes gray on its way to white, every living heart summons us with its fear, and if circumstances are favorable, we will answer. We take as many as we can back to the grave with us because that is our task. Our senseless cycle is out of nature's season. We go our own way, deviates of matter longing to bring an end to the charade of all seasons, natural or supernatural. And we are always dreaming of the day when the frenzy of summer dies out evermore, when everyone like a shriveled leaf sinks into the cooling ground of a sunless earth and when even the colors of autumn have grown dull for the last time, dissolving into the desolate purity of an eternal winter.